Day one of competition began in seven of the nine sports featured for the first four days. Beach volleyball is a game that originated in Southern California and Hawaii. With its introduction as an Olympic sport in 1996, it now has worldwide popularity, even in countries without traditional beaches. I think it's the culture of the beach, the beach game. It, you're outdoors and uh, you, you, know, you get to be a little bit more casual than the indoor game and uh, dress accordingly and you'll see that the guys will have their tank tops and the, the females will have a sports top and that sort of thing. So it's the weather. Look at the weather out. It's beautiful, right? You get to go to the nicest beaches in the world. You get to play on the nicest sand in the world. So. While this is the first year for beach volleyball in the Western Canada Summer Games, BC has already been a dominant force in the sport, with the team led by flag bearer Nick Del Bianco. Del Bianco played indoor volleyball with the CIS champion Trinity Western Spartans last season. In the beach game, he's been on top nationally and internationally since 2008. Two years ago, me and my partner here, Ben, we went to Switzerland for an international tournament, came first there. And then we went to, from there we traveled to Turkey and we played in the World Championships and we came ninth, which was an okay finish because we were a year younger. Um, and then this past summer, I went with a different partner to Portugal, where we played in the World Championships again. This time it was our age, so we ended up coming fourth. And when it comes to the podium at the Western Canada Summer Games, the pressure is definitely on Team BC. Well, I would hope that the team that's going to represent Canada in the World Championships can win at the Western Canada Games. Um, yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> Softball is being played at Charles Anderson Park. With the shorter summers in the far north, only the four western provinces have fielded teams. Boys and girls playing in a double round robin to begin proceeding. And then all teams go into a double knockout playoff round. The team that wins the gold could end up playing as many as 10 games in four days. BC, you know. This game is between Saskatchewan and BC. There are few fans anywhere in sport as dedicated and as passionate towards their teams as the fans from Saskatchewan. We are you are passionate about your team. We are passionate about our teams because we are the team. We're all from Saskatchewan and it doesn't matter where you're from, we all represent our province. We come together as one. Yeah, we're, we're together. together. So, what did you think of the football game last night? There was a football game? The Saskatchewan softball team met the same fate as the football team, a loss to BC, with the host province winning this game 7-6. to six. The games get the attention of more than just the fans. Mike Rennie is the coach of the SFU clan, the top women's university softball program in Canada. SFU plays in the NCAA. While the rules prohibit talking to players until after June 15th between their grade 11 and 12 years, Rennie is here to get an early look at the talent for the day when he can. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to see where each of the provinces have shortlisted their top talent and brought them together. So I don't have to go out and do that. They've done that for me. And it's uh, also a great opportunity for these kids to, to get some high, intense, competitive experiences as well. It was a busy day at the track. These are the 100-meter heats with the top three in each and the next two best times advancing to the finals in men's and women's. The first day of the games has seen medals awarded in two sports and it's been a terrific start for Team BC. So far in the early medal count, athletes from this province have won a total of eight. Two gold, a silver and a bronze in triathlon, along with two gold, a silver and a bronze in track and field. This is the early day one medal count. BC in the lead at four gold, two silver and two bronze for eight in total. Alberta's running a close second at one gold, three silver and three bronze. Then it's Manitoba with four medals on a gold and three bronze. Saskatchewan has a silver and a bronze. So far, the Yukon and the territories have been blanked. Nunavut won't start competing until the wrestling events get underway on Sunday. For the full and up-to-date medal standings, go to the Western Canada Games website at 2011wcsg.com.